Here's another video on Shiny SDR. Uh, this time, though, we're going to install uh, RTL 433 in Dragon OS, which you can see here is a program to decode radio transmissions from devices on the ISM band. Uh, the developer has it up to, I'm wanting to say, 150 devices that can be decoded. And you can see a list on his GitHub page here. First, though, we need to pull down his repository, pull up a terminal, terminal, change directory, user source, I'll use CMake. Now, one thing I want to point out, I noticed that uh, I must not have put the development files for Soapy SDR in here. So, but uh, basically the Soapy or Lib Soapy SDR dev we need to add. So go ahead and install that and then you'll see if I come back here and run CMake SOPI SDR, SDR device input will be compiled and you can see that's it's up to you it's optional he gives some uh, examples on how to uh, let's see actually over here you can enable or disable and stick with just RTL SDR drivers if you wanted but I went ahead and just build it with it on Okay. Now let's just try it out on its own and see how this works out. Uh, by default, it tunes to 433.920 megahertz. And okay, well, I can see some probably weather sensors. Okay, so that's working. I'll change back to the directory where you initially made your uh, your, co your config directory, I guess you'd say, for Shiny SDR. And let's start it back up. All right, so we come back here. Uh, let's see, I think by default, it tuned to, if I remember, 433920. 433920. Let's click on, left click on the screen here to get a receiver to be added down here. We'll change it to RTL 433. And let's fix this. 920. Okay. Let's click on telemetry. And we can see we're getting the information in here in Shiny, shiny SDR. I did bump up the the gain. Let's see what happens with automatic gain control on. Uh, 
yeah, whether it's automatic gain control or manual, you can mess around with the settings there. And you can see now, now we're pulling in RTL433 information on our uh, SDR server. So you can, again, set this up to be accessed on the lo uh, a local LAN through the internet with the proper port forwarding. And just one more feature you can add to Shiny SDR.